Today is National Maritime Day, honoring the contributions of the port and the maritime industry to our economy. During the pandemic, port workers have kept all sorts of goods moving through the port of New Orleans, and you may not know it, but one of the biggest goods they move ends up on people's plates. Here's our Eric Paulson to explain. This morning, we're learning a lot about a big product here at the port of New Orleans that we don't talk about very often, poultry. We have Mike Strain, the uh, Agriculture Commissioner for the state of Louisiana, and Mark Blanchard, who runs Lineage Logistics. You got it. All right, and, and Mike, let's talk about how important of a product poultry is to the Port of New Orleans. Well, the Port of New Orleans, this is the second largest export commodity here at the Port of New Orleans, so it's huge. And right now, we're exporting about 380,000 tons per year. And with the new expansion that is now underway, we'll bring that up to an almost 600,000 metric tons per year and that's a lot of poultry and the best part about that is about 40 percent of that poultry comes from here in louisiana and poultry it's a big part of the agriculture it's like business huge. it's huge and it's uh, poultry is about 1.6 billion dollars and that's in poultry but remember we use our corn we use our beans it's value added agriculture and when you look at the port the port is the tip of the spear when you think about agriculture and the agricultural economy because this is where the product is now shipped to the world. Yeah. This is the largest cold storage export facility for poultry in the hemisphere. And well, the, let's talk to Mark about that. And Mark, the, the, the things you do here, you get you get poultry from all over the region, you fast freeze it and then you export it. That's correct. There's a lot of value added services that go along with it. Part of it's blast freezing uh, with USDA supervision. We do export stamping, et cetera. And we'll either load uh, product either on a break bulk ship like we see here, or we load it into containers, but it goes all over the world. And Mark, what you guys do here, you, you freeze the poultry from all over the southeast uh, region of this country, and then you ship it out like this poultry is going to Cuba. That's correct. We've been shipping Cuba for a number of years uh, on break bulk ships. The Cuban government is the customer. Uh, our, our customers are trading companies that deal directly with the Cuban government. And uh, the Cubans send ships up and we load the full ships out. This goes back and forth to Cuba. This is the first one. We've got two more directly behind this that we'll load in the next week or so. And all the chicken that comes through here, or poultry, is all shipped out. You export everything. 100% export. Some of it's via break bulk ships and some of it's via containers. And now, where's, where's, where's the biggest customer for here? I mean, it's all over the world? Yeah, they're all over the world. I mean, you know, chicken leg, leg quarters are, in the bulk of this product is chicken leg quarters. Some of it's chicken feet, chicken paws. They go to China, but most of it's leg quarters. It's, it's almost a byproduct of the U.S. industry because we use so much breast meat on this side. And how many pounds of chicken come through your company a year? We shipped over 380 million, 380,000 tons of product this, this last year out of here. And, and you guys are a big, important part of the port now. Yes, we are. We, we hope we are. We're, we're, we're expanding a new a facility, our second facility here in the port, and we're going to double the capacity of that facility. So as Commissioner Strain said, we're going to probably be exporting about 600,000 tons of, of poultry out of this facility, out of New Orleans, next year. And Mike, I guess a lot of people don't realize just how important the port is to the agriculture industry in Louisiana. Well, Louisiana, we have about 8.3 million acres of row crops. The majority of our commodities are exported. And when you look at in the United States, one in three acres of America's production is exported. And right now, 65% of the nation's agricultural commodities that are exported come right down the river. So when you talk about the importance of these facilities, it's critical to the economy of Louisiana, but also the economy of the entire United States. Well, we've learned a lot today, and, and we're going to you know, show people the inside where you guys fast freeze. How does that process work? We've got freeze, uh, the typical freezer is, is zero degrees Fahrenheit. It's what we, our holding temperature is. But the blast freezer is the effective temperature is minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's basically, we're freezing product. A load comes in one day and 24 hours later, it's at zero degrees. All right, well, I'm gonna send our photographer Rick Neese in there because I don't want to get blasted with a cold air like that. Mike, thank you very much. 